when you give Notion a way to string together multiple prompts and a way to store some context about what you're working on, you can do some really cool things with Notion AI. So I'm going to just give a demo of how you can take a very simple one or two sentence description of a business idea and turn it into an entire business plan in about five minutes. So I'll just show you what I mean. This is a context block. It's a synced block, which is going to have the main information about our business idea. So this business is going to be an idea to uh, host some events and discussions for London founders. I'm just going to hit generate and this is a prompt that's going to help me brainstorm some problems that uh, this business idea might be solving for this particular audience. But here you go, some potential problems, lack of networking opportunities, difficulty finding like-minded individuals. That's all fine. I'm probably not going to like uh, do a detailed edit or proofread of all of these things. I'm just going to show you how you can fly through and get a pretty fleshed out business plan based on this single prompt. So potential customers, founders and solo business owners, entrepreneurs, individuals, freelancers, students or recent graduates interested in entrepreneurship. Sounds pretty good. So what this is going to do is this is going to be stored in what I would just call a context block. And this context block, this one's called main business idea, is going to store some information about the main business idea. And on every single page, we're going to have a little toggle which hosts all of that context. So that all of the prompts that I put on this page, this page is called viability, which is going to test out, you know, the viability of this business idea with some prompts. It's going to be able to reference, anytime I say my business idea, it's going to reference the specific context given to it in that block. So potential offerings could be some regular events, mentorship program, resources, curated list of business tools. That all sounds pretty good. This one's going to be about coming up with some of the basic unit economics for how to make 5,000 a month, if that's what I wanted to do. So maybe the price target is 25 per ticket. Mentorship program could be 100 per mentee. It's going to you know, come up with some ideas breaking down how I could get to 5,000 per month. Now, GPT-3 and 3.5 is not necessarily that good at problem solving, but as this gets better and better, GPT-4, when I use it in GPT and I use this prompt, it actually breaks things down pretty well. So next page, validation. Again, we've got our business idea context, customer interview. So write me an interview script for a customer interview that is going to be talking about my business idea so it's generating it's a bit stuck but that's all right are you familiar with the challenges da, 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 da. target audience do you think the service would be interesting and now i'm going to get it to actually write a complete mock interview so obviously if you were going out and uh doing your real customer interview you could uh take this script and run it through with your potential customer and you could record the actual interview this is just going to come up with a mock interview because that's going to feed into our pain points so i've just linked another synced block here which has now it hosts the mock interview which we created i'm just going to ask notion ai to generate or to summarize the pain points that are mentioned in this mock interview so limited access difficulty finding feeling isolated or disconnected, that's fine. Now I'm going to ask it to create a business persona. And on this page, I'm going to host the pain points as some context along with the main business idea. So write a customer persona for my business based on the pain points listed above. And if at any time you want to customize uh, the information in this context block, you can actually just edit it directly. So it was initially generated by, by AI, but if you want to add another pain point, you can always do so. And all of your context blocks will be, as they're filled out, they'll be stored in here. So we have our mock interview. You could replace that with a real interview. You could replace your pain points once you brainstorm some more here. So pain points, what did we do? <clears throat> Persona, uh, that got a bit stuck. Let's try it again. And again, if, uh, if Notion AI is a little bit buggy, then, you know, uh, to be honest, so be it. I'm sure they're going to uh, only improve it over time. This is still very new tech. There you go. We're experiencing issues, but it has actually done it. So, you know, name, age, location, London. That's good. Occupation, freelance, graphic designer. 
this makes sense for our business. This might be someone who we actually wanted to target with our little meetups, founder meetups in London. Pain points, goals, motivations. Cool. Market size, GPT-3 is not going to be that good at this, but GPT-4, and if you uh, can imagine kind of some of these plugins that access the web directly in future, this is going to be able to pull in real information about your market. This is actually taking some old information from uh, Center for Entrepreneurs. Who knows if that's real? But there are actually about 1.2 million small businesses in London. So that's, you know, that's uh, not a terrible estimate here. And we can also summarize this into a table. It's not a very interesting table. I should probably give it more columns, but there you go. It's kind of a high level summary. We have our market size, competitors. I'm gonna ask it to generate 10 real competitors in a table, uh, meetup, event brights. These are perhaps the most accurate. I might want to give it a little bit more context, like small meeting groups, founders network, that sounds correct. We can always check these links to see if they are real companies or if uh, GPT is, or the AI is hallucinating. But there you go, we have a quick list of competitors, SWOT analysis. I'm going to pull in that competitors table context here and I'm gonna ask it to generate a SWOT analysis. Done. Let's see what it comes up with anyway. Detailed scope, it at least has the business idea context. Oh, the SWOT analysis is loaded now. Based on the SWOT, product features hosted, pro provide a platform, offer valuable resources. It's not that specific. You can always edit the prompt here um, if you wanna get some more details, but we have an MVP, the context is going to be here, and we're going to get a roadmap. I'm just specifying the date that it should start from, and it should be completed within two months. So you can see that quite quickly, we've been able to just take a, an idea for a business, brainstorm our way through what is not a bad high level overview of a business plan. Uh, we have some actionable items that we can work on. And I'll just go through quickly, uh, a couple more things here in this particular um, tool, Biz Prompter, which I'm just going to release uh, as one of our pro templates. Uh, maybe it'll be its own option as well. Uh, you can actually create and add more pages to your to your business plan. And there's a couple of prompts here that are uh, just going to help you do some more things as you're fleshing out your business plan. So for example, uh, let's say this was our developing a content strategy based on, again, the same business uh, idea. So we have our business idea context. We can obviously add any of the context blocks that we want for this page as well. But I want you to act as a marketing strategist and develop a content strategy. So it's got the right audience. It understands the goals of the content. It has some useful themes, network and community building. And again, it's just pulling this because every new page that you create is going to have within it this main business idea context. And I just included a few little prompts here that you may want to try out as well. So again, this is just a quick demo kind of showing how you can string together multiple prompts into your own little Notion AI powered templates. Uh, you can try this out for yourself. I'm just calling it Biz Prompter. Um, I'll link to the page where you can learn more about this below. Thanks for watching.